The attorney general of both Kentucky and Indiana are challenging President Joe Biden's new nationwide vaccine mandates. WDRB's Lawrence Smith explains why they believe the president is going too far in his effort to beat the COVID-19 virus. In an interview here at the Capitol, Attorney General Daniel Cameron tells me he believes President Biden's new vaccine mandates are unconstitutional. Those are unprecedented moves that are being taken by the Biden administration. Attorney General Daniel Cameron says by law, it's an individual state decision to require vaccinations, not the federal government. I think that the Biden administration, again, has put their thumbs on uh, all of the states across this country and have taken a role and a responsibility that's normally reserved to the states and tried to commandeer it from themselves. That is an unconstitutional uh, move. Cameron joining attorneys general from several other states in filing a pair of lawsuits. They challenged the Biden administration's requirement of either vaccinations or weekly testing for private businesses with more than 100 employees and for federal contractors. We all recognize the responsibility to keep people safe. But in addition to that, we've got to make sure we're doing it in a way that is consistent with and abides uh, with the Constitution. Indiana also teaming with other states to file separate lawsuits. When you have these David and Goliath battles, uh, it's nice to have a lot of Davids. Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear says he's not sure if the lawsuits have merit. I don't know the nuances of this lawsuit. In the end, we got to follow the laws of the state, and so we will prepare to comply. But beyond the legal arguments, Cameron fearing the mandates could cost jobs. And I th think the working men and women of this Commonwealth, uh, you know, want somebody that's going to stand up for them on this issue. Cameron telling me he hopes federal judges will put the vaccine mandates on hold while the cases make their way through the courts. At the state capitol in Frankfurt, Lawrence Smith, WDRB News.